Hi, I'm Bob Allison with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to look at the Shop Saber RC Series CNC router. This machine was designed to provide Shop Saber CNC technology in an entry level solution with up to four foot by eight foot capacity. Like the larger Shop Saber CNC routers, the RC series feature an all welded structural steel base frame. We do that because accuracy and cut quality is a direct function of the rigidity of the base frame itself. We even incorporated the vacuum distribution system into the front base frame member. This effectively becomes a vacuum plenum and increases vacuum table performance. Also, you'll notice that on all the Shop Saber RC models, the base frame design incorporates six large tubular steel legs welded to the machine frame, and then steel side panels are attached to provide not only a clean look, but additional rigidity. The RC series machines feature our structural steel welded gantry design, which has been precision mill for higher performance. This is a finite element analysis derived design that was also ported over from our larger CNC models. Both the precision guide rails and motion components mount on machined items. This ensures that the motion components maintain precision alignment, which makes the machines more accurate. Even the spacing of the precision guide rails was computer determined. This widens the load points and makes the cutting more stable, just as when a football player widens their stance. The gantry supports themselves are computer designed elements and create a very rigid connection between the machine frame and the gantry. This allows us to increase gantry height without sacrificing machine rigidity. This gives you, the end user, the ability to do more things with the machine. This brings excellent machining characteristics to this very affordable router series. The first part of motion control on these machines are the precision contoured linear guide rails. Each RC model comes with 25 millimeter linear guide technology in X, Y, and Z axes. These linear guide rails actually define the axis of motion and are an important part of machine performance. Motion is then applied to the system through a rack and pinion drive system that incorporates our exclusive Shop Saber inverted drive technology. We use planetary drives in this design for better smoothness and less maintenance. It also produces less gear wear than traditional belt driven rack and pinion systems. The Z axis is driven with a direct drive ball screw system for smooth and precise movement. The actual machine motion is generated by closed loop servo motors on all the axes to provide higher accuracies faster accelerations, and better dependability. The benefit to servers is they are able to self-monitor and much like a GPS in your car can let you know if something is wrong before you realize it. This results in better cutting quality and more accurate machine motion. The Shop Saber motion control technology is achieved using state-of-the-art name ring components. The final part of machine motion is actually the machine controller itself. Unlike most controls in this level of machine, the Shop Saber RC series machines feature the same control interface that's made Shop Saber CNC's so popular in the industry. That means a PCI-driven, dedicated microprocessor-enhanced controller with at machine file storage, plus a connection to the external network. You know, there's part of machine operation that's people-related. That's how the operator interfaces with the machine controller. When we developed the Shop Saber CNC control, one of the main goals was to make it easy to train a machine operator. We strive to create a user experience that did not require an engineer type employee. And we did this without sacrificing either functionality or dependability. Let me show you how easy the control is to operate. We started by putting everything the operator needs to run the machine on a single screen. Let me show you how this is organized. What you see down here actually reflects the machine table or the work envelope. And when you see this red dot here, that's the current location of the spindle. So as I jog the machine around, you'll see that move. That's what's happening actually on the machine itself. And also if you watch up above there, you'll see the dimensions up here change. So you always have live dimensions up here. Now, the operational buttons are grouped together. So for instance, over here, these have to do with jogging the machine. So you'll see the X axis, the Y axis, and of course Z, and I can jog in fast, medium, or slow, or 
For special setups sometimes, I may want to just move a thousandth of an inch at a time, and that's what that does. So when I'm touching tools off, that's really common to use that. Now, some of the other buttons that we use on a regular basis are grouped together here. For instance, when you see this button that says home, home is a mechanically determined position by sensor. So the first thing we do each day is home the machine. So we press that button and the machine homes. Now, other things that we use a lot, for instance, where this says tool HT, that's called a tool height switch. So when we want to put a tool in and touch it off, we simply hit that button. It takes care of that. Now, there's a couple areas down here, X, Y, zero, and Z, zero. X, Y, zero basically lets us decide where we want to place uh, the corner of the part. So for instance, let's jog over here and we'll move down here. And let's say this is going to be our origin. And we'll come back to that in a minute, but when I hit that, you'll see it. So now that's where the corner of the part's going to be that I'm gonna run on here. We have the same thing for Z. We also have the ability to say, okay, this is where I want the Z zero plane to be. So I jog it down to that and press that button. All right, now this area over here actually displays where the program is gonna be. So now let's start by loading a program. So I go file, open, select the program, and I'm gonna hit this button, which lets me view it. There's where the part's gonna be. It's on the table, you see where the origin is. All I have to do to make this part is hit this button. And then you'll see the actual moves on the machine live on the screen here. So there's the spindle, there's where it's starting. That's all it takes to run one of these machines. Several years ago, Shop Saber Engineering developed a tool plate stiffener design that became part of our exclusive Super Z technology on our higher accuracy machines. One of the benefits of the stiffener design was an added rigidity to the tool plate structure, and as a result, the machines created better edge finishes. This stiffener design was incorporated into the RC series CNC routers. This results in increased gantry clearance, better cut quality, and the ability to handle higher cutting forces than traditional tooling plate designs. This is another finite element analysis achievement for ShopSaber. The RC series CNC routers are available with a number of spindle options, including HSD manual and quick change spindles, and by special order, an automatic tool changer. This particular machine includes a 3.25 horsepower Porter cable router motor as the spindle. This option is a great choice for customers that don't have 220 volts available, but don't want to settle for a cheaper Chinese cutting head typically cool with water. The router motor option allows the entire machine to run on 120 volts and outperforms the import solutions. We also included our exclusive tool height switch on the RC series routers to make setting tools on the machine a breeze. This feature allows changing tools on the machines without losing the material surface position. These machines are available with a number of table options. The tables can be supplied in phenolic or as a lower cost alternative, an MDF product like this one shown. The machine also features our optional high flow vacuum table, which includes hard pipe connections for better airflow through the system. Our industry leading table surface design that gets more vacuum to the parts is also part of the high flow design. Plus, you have independently controlled vacuum zones for special setups, which come in two or four zone configurations depending on your machine size. This machine includes our optional hybrid aluminum T-slot feature that provides a wide range of clamping options in addition to the vacuum technology. Remember, there's an old saying, you can't cut what you can't hold. So we provide a wide range of fixturing options on the RC series CNC routers. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. The Shop Saber RC series represents the best CNC router in the class. It brings a great router value and allows you to keep your investment in American-made technology. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.